Okay, let's review the last last talk. Okay, about the CDF. CDF of X. Um, you need to remember this. Okay, probability that X less or equal to C denoted by F sub X evaluate C. If X follow exponential distribution with parameter lambda, okay, then this is one minus e to the power minus lambda c. Or alternatively, you can say probability that x greater than c is e to the power minus lambda c. Okay. Um, other than CDF, we want to also talk about expected value of x. The notation used, we say expected value of x. From calculus, we know how we find expected value of x. A formal definition is minus infinitive to positive infinitive f of x and dx. But recall, what is the PDF of the exponential distribution? It's lambda e to the power minus lambda x when x greater than 0. Otherwise, it's 0. So let's apply this to our function here. This I can write as from negative infinity to 0. From negative infinity to zero, the f of function is what? f of x function is what? Zero. So you put zero here, and you put the x. Then plus integration from zero to, in our case, is positive infinity. When x is greater than zero, f of x is lambda times e to the power minus lambda x, and you put dx here, okay? Uh, from calculus, you can find um, the outcome is 1 over what? Is 1 over lambda, okay? And in calculus, what you need to do is, is you need to use what? Integral by parts. This is where how you find it, okay? So you need to also memorize this. Expected value of exponential function, expected value of expected of exponential, expected value of exponential random variable, okay? Its expected value is one over lambda, okay? Now how about variance of x? Use our notation, variance of x, is expected value of x minus ex and you square the term okay so apply calculus here is integration from negative infinity to positive infinity x minus ex and you square the term okay you square the term and then times what times f of x dx. Again, from negative infinity to 0, f of x equal to 0, so we can omit that term, okay? That is from negative infinity to 0, x minus ex to the power 2 squared. f of x is what? f of x is 0, dx. But there is another one that is from 0 to positive infinity. x minus, what's ex? Well, we just evaluate. Um, expected value of exponential random variable is 1 over lambda. Okay? And you square the term, lambda times e to the power minus lambda x dx. Okay? Now, this integration is not difficult at all, okay? And I, I have no intention to teach calculus here. 
Uh, if you are patient, you should be able to find the outcome of this integration should be 1 over lambda squared. So the variance of x, if x follow exponential distribution, its variance should be what? 1 over lambda squared, okay? Quickly summarize what we have learned so far about exponential distribution, okay? The CDF of x, okay? Probability that x less equal to c is 1 minus e to the power lambda c, okay? And x greater than c is e to the power minus lambda c. Now, expected value of x is 1 over lambda. And variance of x is 1 over lambda squared. Okay? Let's start here. 